Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first ever Lunch Awards. I am Amanda Kulong with TechZulu.com, and standing to my right, the big cheese of Lunch.com, J.R. Johnson. How are you, J.R.? Great, Amanda, and thank you all for joining us tonight. We're very excited to have everybody uh, tuned in and watching our first annual Lunch Awards. Lunch, let me just give you a little background quickly. We set out to build a platform to attract the best of the best reviewers from around the Internet. We've established that, we've accomplished that, and to reward and award those people, we've come up with our first annual Lunch Awards. So here we are. Without further ado, I say we jump right into it. I think so, too. Well, I know you are all dying to know about Best Movie Review. And the nominees are Paul Savage for his review of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Jake Wilbanks for his review of The Social Network, James Beswick for his review of Black Swan, Jay Ryder for his review of Toy Story 3, Julian Left for his review of Tron Legacy, Jen Jay for her review of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Stephen Stewart for his review of Avatar, and finally, William Wupak the Thrill for his review of Shutter Island. So and, and the winner is... And now, before I get into the first one, I'm not going to say this every single time we open up one of these envelopes, but I will say that so many of these categories were so highly contested, it was so difficult to find and difficult to choose the right person. Yeah. It was tough, especially in this category, because there were so many of the nominees were so worthy, their reviews were so fantastic. They were great. It was, uh, it was really, really tough to choose the winner. But after tabulating the votes, and I have to say we had to count this category twice because it was so close and so hotly contested, the winner is... James Beswick for his review of Black Swan. I can't believe I won the award for best movie review, especially for a film about ballet. Movies are my passion, so it means a lot to me to be winning in this category. Thanks to everyone at lunch.com and everyone who voted for me. Amanda, what seems to be on your mind? It was just so thought-provoking, JR. Does that tell us something about what might be coming next? Potentially, I would like to hope so. Something about thought-provoking review. Is it the next thought... Re the most thought-provoking review category is up next. Yes, it is, actually. And the nominees for most thought-provoking review are... Clay Miller for his review of Community Gardens. Paul Tognetti for his review of Tattoos. Duck Trong for his review of Time Travel, Judita Tornetta for her review of Swaddling, Philip Helmick for his review of the movie Kick-Ass, and Sean Rhodes for his review of Video Games. Ready? Okay. I'm shaking. <laughs> and the winner is... Sean A. Rhodes for his review of video games. Congrats, Congratulations, Sean. Sean. And look at your card. Feed your curiosity to lunch. Thanks for the award. I'm very surprised to see that I got one, but uh, very happy nonetheless. So thank you, J.R. Johnson, for creating Lunch.com to begin with so that I could have an opportunity to win something like this. I also want to thank everybody who read the review and marked it as helpful, fun to read, thought-provoking or well-organized. But most important, I want to thank the people who actually voted for the review in the Lunch Awards because without you guys, I wouldn't have received this golden thumb to begin with. So thank you very much. Wow. These are great so far. What do you all think? I mean, come on, you're all watching live, and we hope that you are participating with us in the chat room and also um, sending in some tweets, right? At Absolutely. Lunch Awards. I think it's at Lunch Awards. So let's get down to business. Um, Two so far done, a few more yeah, to go. Yeah. So, best business review. Our nominees are Harold Theralt for his review of Create Space Online Service, Rachel for her review of The Grilled Cheese Truck, James Beswick for his review of Dell, Christy for her review of Fonda San Miguel, Teresa Britton for her review of VeggieTrader.com, 
J.N. for his review of Porto's Bakery, John Nelson for his review of Gold and Silver Pawn Shop, and GCS for her review of Chegg.com. And the winner for Best Business Review is... You always watch these people on the award shows fumbling with the envelopes. It's like, why can't they just open the darn thing? It's because they're hard to open. The winner is Rachel Glass of Wind for her review of the Grilled Cheese Truck. Congratulations, Rachel. Oh, love Grilled Cheese Trucks. Hey, everyone. This is Rachel, alias Glass of Wind. Thanks to my friends and my readers and everyone over at Lunch.com for complimenting, commenting, and voting for me. I did it. Like a boss. Thanks, everyone. Rachel, so, oh, sorry. That was a great review and a great acceptance speech. I think so, too. These are awesome. I mean, you all did a wonderful job with these. Thank you so much. So, JR, why don't we talk a little bit about the awards themselves? How did people get chosen? Well, even before we get into how they got selected, let's just right. talk a little bit generally about the awards. And sure. when we came up with the idea, um, it was first... I don't want to say laughed at, but it was laughed at when we came into the office. It was, and we laughed, said, at it was a little bit laughed at slightly. When I said we're going to do a lunch awards, very similar to the Academy Awards. And by chance, it just happened to be the same week that the Academy Awards took place. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but that was, part, that was by design. It was laugh, we were laughed at a little bit, or I was laughed at in the office. But then once we started talking about it some more and we figured out what exactly this would be, people started to get on board. But then when I told them that I wanted the exact same manufacturer that made the trophies for the Oscars, for the real Oscars, to make our trophies for the lunch awards, I was laughed at once again. Until those trophies all showed up at the office and everybody saw how fantastic they were. So this is our first one. We're very excited about it. We are anticipating doing this many more times over. And if it's as successful as I think it's going to be, I will actually give credit to the person who came up with the idea for the lunch awards. But I won't expose her yet in case we decide for some whatever reason we don't want to do this again. So with that, I think we can start on to our campaigning. This must be our, uh, our segue into our next, our next award, which I assume would be Best Political Review. Of course it would be, JR. What gave you that impression? <laughs> um, best Political Review. And the nominees are... Nathan Porata for his review of marijuana legalization. Paul Tognetti for his review of term limits. Chris Travers for his review of the Food Safety Act of 2010. John L. Murphy for his review of Judge Overturns California's Ban on Same-Sex Marriage. And Michael N. for his review of Laura Schlesinger. Sherry for her review of inflation. Ed Trexcriber for his review of Crimes Against Liberty and William Fay for his review of immigration reform. These were some heavy topics that were handled in these reviews, but I must say, all of these reviews that were nominated, and most of the political reviews that we find on lunch are delivered in the even-handedness, and although they may have a lot of um, political fervor behind them, the lunch way is to discuss things openly and well-balanced and, and facilitate a more open discussion about this, and I will say that all of these reviews did this, so for that I applaud each and every one of you. And oh, I'm sorry, now on to the winners. And the winner is... I just love these cards. John L. Murphy for his review of Judge Overturns California's Ban on Same-Sex Marriage. Now, sadly, John could not join us for this, but we are accepting the lovely golden thumb on his behalf. Congrats, John. Congrats, John. So moving right along... Let's go to Best Book List. And the nominees are Sean for his list of beginnings, Paul Tognetti for his list of 23 great books about natural and man-made disasters, John L. Murphy for his list Short Shelf Leans Toward Perfection, Jen for her list My Favorite Fantasy Series, Christopher Eck for his list When We Were Young, Melissa Willis, for her list of favorite books of 2010, Michael N. for his list, My Top 10 Reads for 2010, and Rebecca Hayden for her list of really specific history books. And the winner for best book list is 
Dun, dun, dun. Christopher Eck for his list, When We Were Young. Congratulations. When you were young, JR? When we were young. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I've had a great time writing on lunch, and I've really enjoyed the support of my friends on there. Uh, Adriana from Cafe Libri and Devora, and of course J.R. Johnson and all of the great people who have taken time to comment on my writing and to, you know, just give me some support. And I plan on having lots more fun on lunch in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Um, Amanda, what, what are you doing? I'm, I'm Melissa from Lunch.com right now. You know how well organized she is. Very organized, but what does that have to do with an award show? Isn't there some sort of category like well-organized oh. something or rather? Are you talking about the most well-organized review? Well, as a matter Ooh. of fact, there is. And the nominees for most well-organized review are Adriana for her review of Middle Sister Forever Cool Merlot. Harold Thoreau for his review of the Dell Inspiron 10-inch netbook. Paul Savage for his review of Pandora Radio. Antoine Reed for his review of Teenage Dream. Mijune for her review of Red. Sherry and Reno for her review of Confessions of a Compact Camera Shooter. Patty Theory for her review of Dance with Julian Cardio Ballroom. And Justice Erlin for his review of Microsoft Windows 7. All very organized. Mm, very, very organized. Just like Melissa at lunch.com. <laughs> and the winner is... Mijune for her review of Red. Excellent. Thank you so, so much for giving me this 2011 Golden Thumb Lunch Award for the most well-organized review um, thank you for anyone who's voted for me. It's totally crazy how I don't even know who you are. And thank you for Chef Red Reddington at Red in Napa Valley for creating one of the best meals of my life and making me so inspired to write about it. I'm completely humbled by this award. Thank you. This is for you. So there you go, folks. Well, we want to take a moment to thank our media partners. One of which is TechZulu.com, which you happen to be watching right now. The Lunch Awards are here live on TechZulu. And Read Write Web, another wonderful leading blog. And who else do we have? We also have Coloft. Coloft is a co-working space in Santa Monica, California. And we happen to be shooting the awards directly from Coloft. Thank you very much to all three of our sponsors. We really, really appreciate it. Um, Moving right along, we're getting into uh, most helpful review. So let's just get right to it. The nominees are Heidi Marie Kelly for her review of Better Batter Gluten-Free Flour. Clacky McSnackens for his review of Tom Tom, the car, Tom Tom car GPS receiver. Tracy Kochmuller for her review of the iPad. Brenda for her review of Email Service Provider. Holly Camping Dog for her review of Dog Nutrition. John Wright for his review of Rosetta Stone. Alex Honda for his review of the JVC multi-region code-free DVD Blu-ray player. And Siddhartha Tanu for his review of the Kindle 3G Wireless. And the winner for the most helpful review is... <laughs> 